wildlife management is an application of scientific principles and technical methods uh, to achieve a, a desired outcome with a, with a population for the benefit of the wildlife and for, for people. Um, Elder Leopold, who is one of the pioneers in wildlife management, defined it as a way to provide a sustainable harvest of uh, wildlife year after year. And, and others have, have defined it as a, a way to uh, manipulate or protect um, wildlife for the benefit of people. Um, and wildlife managers often take an approach to, to wildlife management by identifying an issue or a problem um, with, the, with the wildlife and then researching that through looking at scientific literature um, and other resources that are available to them and then applying some, some kind of uh, or implementing some kind of program to benefit wildlife and track the progress. And this often um, is incorporated or, or um, it often uh, involves public input as well. So a lot of times um, policies are made that people are allowed to comment on and provide their input to, uh, to, to make sure that everyone's considered in, in decision making around wildlife management. Wildlife are managed for a number of reasons. Uh, one example is providing recreational opportunities for people through sustained harvests of, of animals. Um, also providing uh, or minimizing impacts that, that wildlife may have on private property. Um, for example, wolves will depredate on livestock and, and kill people's livestock and it causes problems. The main goal of wolf management in Minnesota is to ensure the long-term survival of wolves while minimizing conflicts with people. And we take uh, a number of approaches to that, including population monitoring, where we, we um, use extensive methods to monitor uh, local populations of wolves by radio telemetry. Um, we rely on researchers that are, are studying wolves in more detail and use some of that data to uh, develop a model to look at uh, the wolf population in the state. We also monitor disease uh, indices by uh, picking up wolves that are killed for a number of different reasons. Um, and collecting tissue samples or drawing blood from animals that are radio collared for research purposes. Um, in regards to wolf management, wolves are allowed to expand naturally throughout the state. We have a minimum population goal of at least 1,600 wolves, where um, if the population looked like it was heading towards that level or had reached that level, it would trigger a response to try to recover the population as quickly as possible. And if the population would ever reach the level that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service requires, the, the recovery level, which is about uh, 1,500 wolves, then they could relist the species and they could be considered an endangered or threatened species again.